If you love any type of tech, then you've probably seen a few new releases announced this past week at CES. This was my first year at this event, and I must say, I was blown away. I'm gonna give you my top 15 most amazing things that I saw. Stick around for number one, because I promise you, it's going to absolutely blow your mind. If you're interested in learning more about any of these, I've curated all the links in the comments and description below. This event was insane. I now understand why they only let people within the tech industry attend this event. It is the largest event to take place in the U.S. each year. And boy, was it packed. Side note, if you ever make it to an event at the Las Vegas Convention Center, check out the free Tesla Loop transportation. That was a really cool way to get around. Starting at the bottom, number 15, Cube GPS. Most of these products will remind you of the very popular Tile Tracker, but Cube GPS's top-of-the-line product takes it one step further with real-time GPS tracking. Unlike Tile and Apple AirTags, which require somebody with the app with Bluetooth turned on to be in range. Cube GPS also includes a lifetime warranty as opposed to the lousy one-year warranty from the others. Number 14, the XJimmy Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. I had no idea it was even possible to have such a massive image coming from a projector that was this close to the wall. It displayed 4K flawlessly with no hotspots. It was beautiful. Number 13, the Cooler Master C Mod X Gaming PC Designs. Their Sneaker X Gaming PC Design looked like it was ripped off of Iron Man himself and their Shark X gaming PC design looked like a transformer. A transformer that can game like a boss. And number 12 was Cooler Master's next-gen gaming PC chairs. The Orbex was the most over-the-top but freaking cool chair slash desk that I've ever experienced. I got the chance to check out the new Dynex as well. They had the demo set up with a racing simulation and a ridiculously awesome triple screen display that wrapped around my head. They also had their latest line of Sync X gaming chairs for the poor peasants like myself. They were pretty comfortable though. And number 11, the iCoin Cold Storage Crypto Wallet. This is available right now, and it's one step closer than anything that I've seen from the much more well-known Ledger Crypto Wallets that I've also reviewed. It has a touchscreen and a camera, and also has the ability to view, watch, and listen to your NFTs. Oh, and Wiz Khalifa uses it, so it must be legit. And at number 10, I would have to say the latest products from Nanoleaf. Their new Lines product can interlock into all kinds of really cool configurations. Their new Nanoleaf 4D actually uses a camera camera to monitor what's on screen to then mimic that pattern behind your TV for next level immersion. And number nine, the next gen VR headsets. PlayStation just announced their all new PSVR2 headset with a 4K HDR OLED display, eye tracking, foveated rendering, 110 degree field of view, and adaptive triggers. So basically better specs in every way compared to the MetaQuest Pro that I just reviewed. You could buy a PS5 and a PSVR2 together and it would still cost $400 less than the MetaQuest Pro. But an even more advanced VR headset than the PSVR 2 was the all-new Pimax Crystal. That one with a 140 degree field of view and 8K resolution. B Haptics also showed off their latest and greatest TaxSuit X40 with 40 haptic points that will now let you feel your VR experiences in a whole new way. And it's actually the only suit that has been integrated into VR games. Number eight on the list, Hypervision. I really wish cameras picked up how cool this looks in real life, but they don't. It really looks pretty seamless. As I darken my camera settings, you can kind of see behind the curtain and realize that this is all very intelligently designed with spinning LEDs that sync up to create one master image. Seeing yourself as a hologram is really something else. I had way too much fun with that thing. And a company called Zorbis was also showing off a really cool Star Trek-like hologram display. At number seven, another product from Zorbis, the Sketcher X robot. This was a creepy but cool robot with a 3D projected animation animated talking face that had an arm that could actually sketch your face. Probably one of the most bizarre things I saw at CES. And number six was Asus's ZenBook 17-fold OLED laptop. You can unfold it into laptop mode, lay it flat without the keyboard for tablet mode, and then prop it up vertically with the keyboard for full desktop mode. Number five is more of a category, but a very exciting category. And that's all of the next-gen gaming PCs that were just announced at CES. Asus knocked it out of the park with their latest ROG series, now with 4090 GPUs and 13th Gen i9s, and Gigabyte with their latest Aura series laptops, also with 13th Gen CPUs and 4090 GPUs, as well as their Aero series, but those only with 4070 GPUs. And finally, HP's latest top-of-the-line Omen 45L gaming desktop gets next-gen upgrades. Really excited to do a dedicated video on that one and compare it to last year's review. And Razer is now offering 1610 ratio, 16-inch and 18-inch QHD 
laptops also with 4090 GPUs and 13th gen CPUs and their top of the line laptops will include six speakers. That doesn't really come as a shocker though because Razer Blade always has the best sounding speakers in the business. Number four, the Razer Kyo Pro Ultra 4K webcam. Thankfully as a tech influencer, I was able to snag a private demo behind Razer's booth of this next level webcam. And I must say it did not disappoint. The clarity was close to that of my $5,000 DSLR. This was due to having the largest sensor ever in a webcam and advanced face tracking that assisted in more precise focus and exposure. And number three on the list was also a new Razer device, the Razer Leviathan V2 Pro head tracking AI soundbar. This is something that you really need to experience to truly understand. It's the highest quality soundbar that I've ever heard in my life. Somehow using head tracking, this soundbar is able to beam sound directly to each of your ears in a way that simulates surround sound from one speaker. It was honestly kind of weird in a good way. As soon as I stepped out of the four foot bubble or covered up one of the tracking cameras, the illusion went away. It was like stepping in and out of an invisible sphere of surround sound. The Razer booth also had on display their new Razer Edge mobile gaming device, but I wasn't all too impressed with that one. When I played a game that was being streamed from an Xbox next to it, it had just as much input lag as all of the other mobile gaming devices that I've tested. I just don't think the technology is there for any of them yet. And number two is the Lightyear solar powered electric car. This thing looked sick and I want one. Unfortunately, they weren't offering any test rides at CES, but they did claim that it has an insane 500 mile range because of the solar panels. And finally, the number one coolest thing that I saw at CES was the new Asus ProArt Studio 16 3D OLED laptop. I cannot express to you how incredibly cool this thing was. You really have to see it to believe it. Utilizing Asus Spatial Vision with an eye tracking camera system, this 3D display contains several layers and a special lenticular lens layer that directs the stereo images separately to each eye. This was literally worth the trip to CES alone. It looks way better than any 3D that I've ever seen in any theater with glasses. Mark my words, this technology is going to be everywhere in the next five years. Mobile gaming on your phone, 3D FaceTime, everything. Me and some other attendees were just standing there in awe, staring at this thing, just trying to figure it out. How is it possible? Now it's not available to purchase yet as of this recording, but check the links below for updates or just to find more info about it. Now, if you'd like to buy any of these products, then please remember to use my affiliate links in the comments and description below as I get a small commission at no cost to you for every single purchase made. And it's actually a major factor in keeping this channel going and getting better and better for you. I'd also like to personally thank all of my members for their monthly contribution to this channel. I really appreciate you guys. Every little bit helps. And remember every week I do a giveaway that randomly selects someone who's interacted with this channel in some way or filled out the form in the description. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications turned on to stay up to date with that as well as staying up to date with all of my latest tech. And the winner for this week is... Alexia Bonner. Thanks for watching guys. I love you guys. God bless.